Hi everyone and welcome to my video. So today I am at my local Goodwill which is my favorite on a Sunday even though I won't upload this till Monday and today Sundays for Goodwills is the first day of a new color that's 50% off. So a lot of times if you come right in the morning uh, when they first open you'll see all the regulars and, and dealers uh, come to see what the new color is and get the first uh, dibs on the 50% off items. So I'm here with my boys, my helpers, and we're gonna see what kind of treasures you find. So let's go shopping. All right. And it's still recording. <laughs> I'm trying to pause it. Here we go. All right, so we're waiting for Goodwill to open. First color of the week, 50% off. What's the color, boys? Blue. blue. So we're looking for blue items to give us the 50% off discount and we're going to see if we can find some good deals. All right. The thing I like about my Goodwill is there's always so much stuff. So you're bound to find at least something that is worth money or something that's a good deal. This item, I did not know what it was. I just knew that it was old. Yep, made in Japan. Probably 60s or 70s. I wasn't quite sure what it was though, so I put it back. And I'm always attracted to brighter colors, like bright blues. Out of these 1960s plastic, hard plastic owl decor, but I put them back later because I didn't realize they had chips in the eyes. The eyes were ruined. I don't know how I missed that, but I put them back later. Goodwill still wanted a dollar each for them. And someone spent a lifetime collecting bells and then eventually they all ended up at Goodwill. So many bells, which was kind of sad. And this was cute. I'm not sure what I use it for. $3, but two little owls, super cute. And in the back hiding was a cute little hand-painted butterfly box. But again, I'm not sure what I would use that for, so I put that back too. And I love old Winnie the Pooh. Just love it. And you always have to look on the bottom shelves because things are always hiding. And you never know what is hiding on the bottom shelves in the back. You might find some great treasures. So when I went to the dress section, it was a hot mess and super packed. And this seems to be a problem at Goodwill a lot of the times where they just pack in the clothes that you can barely shop. And I liked this dress. It was only $2, but the material felt a little cheap. So for me, I decided it wasn't the best. I'm just going to think about it for a minute. But it was really hard to shop in the clothes section because everything was just packed in that you can barely look at anything. So I was mostly just looking for the 50% off items to see if I found any good deals. Unfortunately, I did not find any cool dresses. But you never know. There's always next week. So I don't usually go in the electrical section. But when I did, I did see this cool, large hanging lamp that was a hard plastic with puffy paint around the flowers. I'm assuming it was 1960s or 70s, but I passed on it because I wasn't sure what I'd do with it. Someone worked really hard on making this picture with all the paper flowers, and it ended up at Goodwill. I hope someone buys it. I didn't, but it was cute. And this is very cute, but again, I didn't need it. It was only $3. Was it a piano? Nope, it was a phone. Super cute. 
And it was half off. There was a lot of wood in the wood section at Goodwill. And this I wasn't quite sure what it was. It was a barometer. Um, it looked a little cheap. 1980s most likely. It was only $4. And there was a second one on the shelf. But I didn't get it. I just like looking. And I'm always attracted to hand painted items like this little bowl. And I might go back for it if it's still there. It's super cute. Oh, you need a heavy duty wood salad bowl. This would have been perfect for someone. A lot of wood crafty items. So what I really thought was cool was a Saks Fifth Avenue coat. It was wool and alpaca fur, and it was half off at $12.99. It's a beautiful 80s coat. And this reminded me of the early 90s, late 80s, head shoulder pads. And this is something they wore in the movie Clueless. And this was half off, so I ended up getting that too. This Pyrex bowl was really cute, but it had a chip on the edge of it, so had to put it back, unfortunately. I did find some super comfortable name brand shoes. They're not the prettiest, but they are comfortable. So I got those. And what caught my eye the last minute was this $2 Disney World Snow White candy tin. I looked it up on eBay and it sells for $12. I thought it was beautiful. So I definitely bought that. And this cup was hilarious. Beer breakfast of champions, but Goodwill wanted $7. So I was like, yeah, I'll pass. Hi everyone, so we are all done shopping. We found some pretty unusual items, and we also found some good items, as you could see. I got a Saks Fifth Avenue. It was $12.99 and half off. And then I also spotted a Snow Disneyland Snow White little candy tin. It's only $2. I looked it up on eBay. It sells for around $12, so I thought that was a great deal. Um, I'll show more of the items that I had purchased. Um, from today and probably from previous hauls so you can see all the treasures I have found. So if you enjoyed shopping with us at Goodwill, definitely give us a thumbs up. And if you would like to watch more videos of thrifting and hauls and finding treasures, going garage selling, thrift store shopping, definitely subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss a video that pops up. And until next time, see you later. Bye.